Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel and right now I'm just showing you this very very beautiful daylily which is called Hemerocallis scarlet orvip look at that it's so beautiful a very nice bright red flower with yellow center what a lovely lovely daylily in here and just beside it I actually just moved and planted some lily oak in here and hopefully they will bloom next season or this summer hopefully this summer and yeah I'm just so looking forward to that by the way for today we will be talking about more of our dahlias because I haven't given you any updates yet regarding the dahlias so as you can see all the tulips that used to be in here are all gone now and I'm actually just really waiting for them to totally die down and yeah be cut later on and be replaced by my dahlias and as you can see one of my dahlias here is already awake and I actually have some more which is this one and I also have some of my peonies in here by the way it's just the peony update look at that it's starting to um, grow bigger and bigger another dahlia in here which is my angel hearts matador new sprout coming up so let me just take you to some of my dahlias in here I'm still trying to organize them and I know it doesn't look really organized at the moment but I am really trying and um, I was just really busy with some other plants here in our garden oh by the way speaking of other plants here is my rose this is my princess Alexandra of Kent look at that and it's just about to bloom so maybe my next vlog will be some updates latest updates of my roses here in our garden but for today I just really want to update you guys especially those dahlia lovers um, about the dahlias that are already germinating here in our garden so since we are already in here let's just start in here so what I have in here this is sweet Natalie and this 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 and this these are um, all my silver years Yes, I think this is silverys. Ah, uh, no, no, this is not silver years. This is my cafe ole twist. I have two cafe ole twists, which uh, is one of my new dahlias here in our garden, and then the rest, silver years and sweet Natalie. This is silver years as well. So I have lots of silver years, cause luckily. I was able to divide some of those um, tubers that I purchased from where did I buy the silver ears? From the warehouse, actually, from the warehouse. And yeah, oh, oh my God, look at that! I'm seeing a flower bud already from my silver ears. Look at that! That is so quick, and I'm so excited. Oh my God! Anyway, let's go ahead. So most of them over there are Silver Years, Sweet Natalie, and Cafe Ole Twist. And I have some more in here. So right now, this one is my Boom Boom White. And I know all of you guys love Boom Boom White. And I do too. Because it's just so beautiful, round, big, ball white flower. It's so beautiful. If you guys don't have it yet, I highly recommend you get Boom Boom White. And then next to Boom Boom White, this one, very, very familiar. So, this one, oh, I lost the name, but it looks like Pacific Time. So, Pacific Time is also one of those um, double not double dual color um, flower dual color dahlia which is also really nice it has a small 
um, really tiny flower not really really tiny but um, it's it's nice I love the combination of that red and white color so I I had two of these this one and this one. Oh, actually now all of a sudden I realize I think this one looks like Rococo yeah I think this is Rococo but anyway it's still good I don't mind whether it's Rococo or um, yeah you know actually even if you don't have a tag you can like start to tell you can tell from your uh, experience when you see your dahlias you will know that this is your um, like I mentioned Rococo or which one is um, the Pacific time I'm sure this one is Pacific time and then of course I only have one coloret and this is my coloret which is um, called dream or night catcher I think it's dream catcher so this is this one and then next to that I have my red seedling which is I call red, red cafe ole because this is almost the same shape same size of the original cafe ole but in red form in red color so that's really really nice and yeah this is uh, as mentioned this is one of my seedlings from last year and I'm just uh, gonna keep it in here and then next to it I have my Edinburgh So it, this is actually one of my favorites and I don't know for some reason the first two Edinburgh's that I had here in our garden did not survive and this one I don't know where I bought this one but I bought it from one of the growers here in New Zealand it's just somebody who's uh, growing Delia in her garden and then next to it this is Cafe Ole one of my Cafe Ole's that is also really looking beautiful right now and then behind it this is Karma Lagoon my Karma Lagoon I'm thinking of moving my Karma Lagoon putting it somewhere else and after Karma Lagoon I have another seedling which I call Fans Cotton Candy And I really really love this one guys one of my favorite seedlings I ever had here in our garden and then next to it um, this one is another cafe ole and then this one um, for sure this is another rococo so that's rococo and I believe this one uh, no this one uh, I think I lost the tag but I suspect that this is one of my seedlings And then this one is my Kelvin floodlight. And then going here, this is another um, seedling of mine, which is called Fans David. And then this one is my Joey, Joey Nikki. And it's not giving me any signs of. Um, waking up yet this one is another boom boom white and what else i have in here um sweet love this is my sweet love i'm sure this is sweet love and sweet love is one of my first videos here but unfortunately for the past two three seasons now i think um, I was not able to divide its tubers and it's just tiny I, last year I was supposed to divide it but I thought ah oh, I think it's not it's not good to divide it because I don't want to take a risk I tried to divide last year my Evana and Eva, my Evana get, just gave me a very very tiny um, tubers and unfortunately I was not able to propagate it because none of those tubers that I have divided survived so I don't have Ivana. I'm not sure if I still want to get another Ivana, but anyway, um, let's see what happens. And by the way, I have a new here in our um, garden. This one, this is Caribbean Fantasy. That is not looking so well at the moment. Maybe I'll have to check what's going on 
with its uh, tuber I suspect there's some rotting tuber going on in here and then um, Rip City how can I forget one of my most beautiful and beloved Delia Rip City and this one um, one of actually my later I realized my favorite is the Bahama apricot which is really really nice dahlia to have in the garden I really uh, highly recommend this one guys because it's one of my most prolific dahlias ever in my garden and then next to it um, what do we have in here um, hmm. This is uh, this is one of my yellow tubers, the buttery color. And then next to it, I have Rycroft Jan. So this is actually one of the most perfect, should I say, almost gulp-shaped um, ball dahlia. A white ball dahlia that is really perfect circle, really round, really, really round ball dahlia. And then next to it, I have my Ludwig Helfert. Um, last year, I think I saw this one bloom only once and I should really plant it somewhere else. It's a very nice orange cactus dahlia and for some reason, I don't know why I didn't have the inclination to make it flower last year. So hopefully we'll see a new flower yeah, this season. And then I believe this one is breakout. And this one is Encore. For sure, Breakout is very, very popular, but also Encore. A yellow, big yellow cactus dahlia. And then La Luna. And I actually have some more um, dahlias planted in here together with some of my climbing roses. Look at this rose. I am actually now quite surprised if what this one is. Because I don't see any thorns, but it has given me a very long cane, and there's some more canes down there actually. So let's see what happens. So I have some more of my seedlings in here from last year. Luckily, these seedlings that I have in here, one of my best seedlings, I should say. The purple one, I don't know what the name is yet. But the yellow one, the golden color, I call it um, Fans CC. In um, honor of my favorite, not really favorite, in honor of my orange cat. I don't want to say he's my favorite because both of them actually are my favorite. Puss Puss. And CC. And actually, I have uh, Fans Puss Puss. Um, dahlia in here as well but um, I think I probably have misplaced it somewhere but that's actually a very very lovely pink dahlia let me just show you the picture so yes of course I love Puss Puss so I have yeah I, I think I need to do some weeding here later on and to remove all of this and I have this blue iris in here oh my god is this correct? Am I seeing some echinaceas in here? This is echinacea leaf, right? Mm, interesting. And actually, I'm suspecting that these things that are going in here are probably my rudbeckias. So I'm not really removing these um, plants. I'm actually not sure if this is weed or rudbeckia or what, but I'm gonna keep it there. Let's see what happens. And some more of my um, seedlings in here. Oh, by, the one, by the way, this one is Coralie. And oh my god, I'm seeing another um, Delia germinating down there. So lots, lots and lots of things um, gonna happen here in our garden. Oh, by the way, this is Cafe Ole, I believe. Oh no, I, I think... Ah. Not sure. No, no, I'm not sure what this one is. But anyway, guys, lots of things to look forward to here in our garden. And I highly recommend. Oh, I actually have some more in here. I totally forgot. This is Jennifer. Um, Jennifer. 
L ano Jennifer Mary Ellen and I also have my El Paso there and what else I have in here yeah I just really have to tidy up and organize uh, all of my dailias in here and I'll give you some more updates guys regarding my dailias and I'm expecting that most of them will be blooming by December which is the June June in the northern hemisphere yeah so yeah I think that would be all for today guys just want to give you some updates with what's going on and by the way before I forget I also have two um, Veras Elma this one and this one in here my two Veras Elma that I luckily was able to divide it and yeah hopefully um, we'll get some nice flowers from my Veras Elma this year all right guys thank you very much and if you have any questions please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section down below and i will be glad to answer all of your inquiries all right guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next one bye for now